Hello everyone. Today we have a Dell laptop, and this is a Dell Inspiron model number N4050. This is was brand new in the box a client brought in, never been used, but it's a few years old, I guess. And I'm gonna open it up and change the hard drive on this one. And I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and how to replace your hard drive and your RAM in case if you want to. So let's get it started. First thing first, flip it over. Remove the battery by removing this sliding clips right there and pull out the battery. Next, we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover, including the ones under the battery. Now that we remove the bottom screws, we're going to flip it over, open the screen, and with a guitar pick, we're going to stick it right between, right on top of the escape, between F5 and F6 and F11, and the delete button. There's a clip there that you have to push them towards the screen side. Okay, now you can flip it open and you have to disconnect the cable right there, the flex cable. And to disconnect it, you have to just pull up this brown handle right there towards the ceiling, just 90 degrees, just like that. Now you can just slide the cable out. There you go. Next, you want to disconnect the cable for the power switch. You have to lift up, and there's a secure locks in there. You have to unhook the locks, just pull them up. You don't want to yank the cable up, and then you can just disconnect the cable. Next, same thing for the mouse touchpad, which is right here. Just pull up, pull the brown plastic, just a little bit up, like one millimeter, and then you can just remove the cable. Next, we're gonna remove these two screws right there, and pretty much every screw right up here. Two right there, one there, and two in the middle. All right, that's not a screw, only these two. Alright, next we're gonna pull out the CD ROM. You're gonna put your screwdriver right in there where there's a tiny hole in the back, and you're gonna twist your screwdriver, and the CD ROM is just will come out. You just pull it towards the CD ROM right there. Now you can just slide out, remove your CD ROM or DVD ROM. Alright, next. We're gonna remove the top cover. To remove it up, use your guitar pick, stick it in between the two plastic, and just wiggle it around. There are a few clips that it's gonna unhook. Right there. Now slowly move it up. And this side has to. Now lift it up slowly. You have to pull the screen really on the back side. And pull it towards yourself. There's one more clip in the back. The tiny clips that they are right under the battery, you want to lose them up and then it will come out. I'm going to show you guys. Right under the battery, there were like a two tiny, tiny clips that were holding it from preventing it from sliding it outward. So I had to push those out and it would just come out. So down here we have the on-off switch and the mouse touchpad. There's nothing else. 
Now here we have the board. So, so obviously there's a Wi-Fi right here. Extra. This is the audio jack. Wi-Fi, SD card reader, South PHC chip or South chip, South Bridge chip. Two RAM DIMI slots. If you want to replace your RAM, just upgrade. Just right here. Just pull them apart in 45 degree angle. Just pull them out. All right. So this comes with the eight gigs of the RAM. And the client is gonna just use four gigs, and the other four gigs we're gonna put in a different computer. By the way, this is the heatsink for the CPU. It doesn't have a GPU installed right underneath, and for the GPU VRAMs, video RAMs, which are not installed. So this is only a CPU. So we're gonna unhook the cable for the fan, and we're gonna remove the heatsink from the board. Removing the heatsink, the fan is really clean because it's never been used. We're gonna remove this old thermal paste. Use a 100% alcohol. I'll leave in the description where you can buy this alcohol. It's really easy to remove the thermal paste. Do not use a regular alcohol, they're bad because they have 70% water. There we go. And once we clean it up, we're gonna grab a thermal paste. You can use a Arctic Silver 5 or you can use any other brand. In this case, I'm gonna use an MX4 or you could use Arctic Silver 5. We'll put a little bit right over the CPU, just a tiny line. Next, you're gonna put the heatsink back in. And whenever you lift the thermal, the heatsink, you have to go always place a little more thermal paste. And the reason I left it up because I thought I didn't see this paper right there. Just remove it and put it on the side so it doesn't disturb the screw. All right, next we're gonna remove the hard drive just by sliding it towards the USB ports and lift it up. This one is a Seagate 500 gig, so we're gonna remove the caddy by removing the two screws. And we're right in the other end. All right, I'm gonna go get myself the new hard drive and I'll be back. All right, now that we got the new hard drive here, this is the Hitachi you hard drive, you want to grab it and you put the caddy back on and you want to screw it back in. This caddy only prevents it from sliding. Once you're done with that, just put it back down with an offset and then slide it back in. Make sure the fan is connected, everything is connected. Then we're gonna grab the top part, slide down the monitor end, and then push down the rest. Put down the on off switch button, press down the lock. Put the mouse pad and lock it down. You're gonna grab the CD-ROM, slide down the CD-ROM in. Now we're gonna put the screws back in on the top side. Right there. Next, you're gonna grab the keyboard, put the keyboard face down, the way it's supposed to be, just like that. In this position, flip the ribbon cable. You want to slide it right underneath, just right underneath the connectors, and then push it in a little bit. It has to go in easily, so if it's not going easy, close it and open it.
There you go. Now you can go ahead and flip down the lock. Put the bottom end of the keyboard always down first. So this bottom end has to go down, sliding, and then push down the corners. And now just press the top side down. And we're gonna close the screen. All right, now actually you can see it right there. This is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna fast forward, the clips have to be in the other end of these plastics, not on top. That's why it was preventing from sliding it out because I had to lift this ones up like that. So to let it loose. All right, we're gonna put all the screws back in. And the last thing is slide down the battery. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Until next video.